Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the only gangster here with another Modern Warfare 3 breakdown for you guys. Here we got the multiplayer reveal trailer. Uh, pretty excited about this trailer, but it just came out about an hour ago, so don't go too hard on me on the comments if what I say is completely wrong. Alright, here we go. So, first we got a game type called Kill Confirmed. We don't know too much about this game type yet, so we'll have to see as information comes out about that. Primary weapon is M4. His proficiency is Kick. Now, proficiency, it looks like it's going to be uh, like an added perk or bonus for you guys and then a secondary of grenade launcher module equipment's pretty standard with flash and frag so um nothing too crazy there except we don't know what kill confirmed is strike package we've got assault in modern warfare 3 um there are different packages that you run he's running assault so he has uav up uh age 6 overwatch is probably like a pavlo uh juggernaut is most likely you get the juggernaut suit we'll have to see how that goes he has like an elite uh clan that's probably like the clan that you can get um recon that's perk 1. Explosive damage marks on the HUD. Quick draw, which is faster aim down sights, and stalker, which is movement with aim down sights uh, faster. So here we've got like a British uh, train terminal. He calls in his Pavlo type thing, AH6 Overwatch. That's a mouthful. But um, breaking glass, shooting his M4. Hops up on this thing and gets a throwing knife whiz past him. Pretty excited about the throwing knife in Modern Warfare 3 back again. So here I slowed this part down because you get to see his mask and I don't know if that's um, with all players or if that's perk related or if you get to choose it but I think that's a pretty cool costume idea here we've got a guy shooting his semi-automatic sniper rifle or assault rifle and he's got some red tiger camo on his back pretty much shows that um, camos are back he shoots out the glass hops onto this train we're out in the train yard he can go on top of trains that's pretty cool we've got a SAM turret from um, what's it called from black ops and i'm pretty excited about that maybe take down some air support pretty easily um... here this part's pretty cool he hops down after killing this guy and watch this this is a sniper i slow this down listen to it again it sounds pretty much like um an intervention or an M40 which I'm pretty excited about I didn't hear much about bolt action rifles so we'll have to see what that is He's running with it running slowly here is a part that I didn't understand dog tags it's like from battlefield uh, bad company maybe you pick them up I don't know maybe that's just a statement to battlefield but um, we'll have to see that's probably like the game mode kill confirmed probably uh, just unique to that here we got capture the flag using the M4 with ACOG site his proficiency is focus so I don't know what that means exactly um, his equipment is a bouncing Betty and he is using a FMG 9 so it looks like uh, the secondaries are back to having like more machine guns um, the EMP grenade you'll see in a second but um, I think that is a pretty cool idea for the EMP grenade he's running support package so he's got the airdrop trap at seven kills um, that is pretty much just gonna be uh, like a hacked care package I think remote turret pretty simple EMP it's running extreme conditioning sprint longer distances uh, assassin is immune to UAV motion sensor thermal and heartbeat sensor sit rep is enemy equipment is visible and footsteps are more clear with pro so he's moving in and it looks like this is some Thai place um, I, I don't know, it, it could be Middle Eastern or it could be like Indonesian, but uh, it looks like a pretty cool place. Alright, he tosses his Bouncing Betty, that's pretty cool, it's not like you set it up, but you can toss it. I like that, um, they're probably going to be harder to like get away from than a Claymore. See, it just flies up into the air and boom, explodes his head, so that's pretty awesome. Um, here we've got the turret, turrets are back, he throws his EMP grenade and watch this, it just blows it up that's great so um, if you're worried about like turrets and stuff then yeah you can just use the EMP grenade so here we've got a new site um, I don't know this is ACOG I don't know if the middle is customized or not but uh, looks pretty customized so here he's got his explosive decoy on the way after killing the capture the flag runner runs up to it his friend gets shot now that that was him um, so this is pretty much uh, the staple of this reveal you got the sniper clearing the way after each little map um, so that again that looked like a bolt action rifle here we've got like a castle type looking uh, Arabic place looks pretty fun uh, looks almost like showdown uh, back from COD 4 team deathmatch uh, he's using the ACR ACR is back he's using focus again um, his secondary is the XM25 that looks to be 
like um, either a noob tube or a uh, machine gun, we'll see in a second. And his equipment are claymores and portable radar, pretty much um, something you've seen in the past. His ballistic vests are a five kill streak. I think that drops a juggernaut perk for your entire team, not completely sure yet. He's got a recon drone, which is probably like a Blackbird stealth bomber. Uh, pretty simple and perk is recon again blast shield uh, his flak jacket and dead silence or footsteps are silent so um, yeah I'm pumped about dead silence again because I have turtle beaches and here we've got like a large machine gun light machine gun probably the M29 and if you see closely you can see some uh, clan tag writing hopefully they bring that back I like that so he whips out his noob tube yes noob tubes are back and um, this site is pretty cool I, I, I like the um, scope on that but I don't know I I mean here you'll see that noob tubes aren't that powerful because it blew up right behind him the grenade launchers aren't gonna be ridiculous um, it blew up behind him and he still lived although it can blow up the trucks and look the truck is back the Griffin moving company so they get around I guess here we've got um, the laptop I don't think that's like an actual thing you can use but I thought that was pretty cool airstrike is on the way stealth bomber 14 kill streak he runs away from it dodging bullets what a champ um, so yeah, the airstrike comes in, he's getting shot at. You'll see people in different floors, different levels. Uh, looks like, looks pretty run and gun. Uh, here you'll see a different remote turret, I think, that his teammate has. That's pretty cool. It's, it's moving around on wheels. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe you can throw an EMP grenade or just an EMP to get that out of the way, but that looks pretty sick. Um, I like turrets, but I, I don't like when they're moving around, so that, that, that should be pretty fun. Um, so here he's got the red dot sight again. Gets killed by a sniper. I played this multiple times so you could hear the sound. Now listen to the M40 sound. I think they sound pretty similar, not too similar. So I don't know if the M40's back or not, but we'll have to see. Here he's playing ground war. He's got the ACR. His proficiency is two attachments. He's running overkill, so his secondary is dragging off. His equipment is a trophy system and throwing knife. Not sure what a trophy system is. We'll have to see about that, but... um. Yeah, I'm excited that the throwing knife is back, as I said, and the variable scope on the dragon off. Um, yeah, I don't know how about overkill because there's nothing really to balance it. Uh, I don't know what perk otherwise. But anyway, he's running a uh, specialist package with Scavenger Pro, uh, Steady Aim Pro, and Marksman Pro. Basically, when you have the uh, specialist package, instead of uh, kill streak rewards, you get different perks uh, when you get more kills. So if you got two kills, you'd get Scavenger Pro, Steady Aim Pro, etc. So Blind Eye Pro is. Uh, let me just see here one second. Is undetectable from air support, overkill is two primary weapons, and sit rep pro as I talked about earlier. But moving on here, he runs down the street and whips out this big attachment. And hopefully this attachment doesn't have that much sway to it because it's pretty much bigger than anything on the screen and you wouldn't be able to see. But he takes out the ride shielder nonetheless. Ride shielding is back. That's always fun as well as throwing knives because that guy got one to the face. Now, because he has a proficiency of two attachments, he can just slide that one off. That's pretty cool. Takes out his trophy system, and watch. This guy's coming down the street. think he's going to get an RPG kill, but nope. Trophy system just explodes it in midair. Uh, we'll have to see more about that, but that looks pretty cool. Uh, they're in New York. Nice whack. I, I, I don't even know what that is. Um, but anyway, his trophy system's broken, but he runs down the street, gets more kills nonetheless. Takes out his dragon off. Big epic sniper showdown in front of the American flag. This guy's got camo. I hope that's back. But anyway, he's going to die. He gets a dome shot. That's the end of the trailer, guys. If you enjoyed this breakdown, just give it a thumbs up and maybe even a favorite. If you enjoy my commentary, just go check out my channel. And until next time, I'm the only gangster, and I will see you guys later. Peace.